Hello friends, this is Durga from IT University. So as part of this video, I will be uh, demonstrating how to set up uh, the environment to prepare for the certification. Uh, so as part of the certification, uh, if you see you need to have MySQL database, you need to have Hadoop cluster, you need to have scoop in that running, you need to have Spark and also you should be able to uh, run some programs in Spark using Scala as well as Python. And also you, you need to do the, um, modeling using Hive. Uh, if you see, there is a section for the, um, using different types of Hive DDL to create the tables and um, uh, take the necessary actions for the uh, better performance. So for this, you need to have an environment where you have all these things. You should have Hadoop, you should have Scoop, you should have Hive, you should have Spark uh, with Scala and Python and also you should have a mysql database so that you can actually run these scoop commands connecting to the mysql database so don't be overwhelmed um, you don't need to uh, worry about setting up the environment because cloudera provides something called cloudera quick start vm so you can go to google.com and search for cloudera quick start vm and hit enter you can go and uh, get the latest two version of uh, uh, cdh or cloudera distribution of hadoop uh, using virtualbox or uh, uh, kvm or vmware image uh, so you can actually uh, uh, choose the version here uh, if you want uh, 5.5 you can choose if you want 5.4 you can choose this i have already downloaded 5.4 and I will be demonstrating using that. If you want, you can use the 5.5 also, but there will not be significant difference between 5.5 and 5.4. So if you want to download using 5.4, just choose 5.4. And uh, then at the bottom, get one now and then it will ask you for the details Durga Gadiraju L.com self job role big data architecture job function architect double seven six zero one two nine eight nine six and hit continue choose the these things and accept and then you can choose whether you want to download VMware or KVM or VirtualBox. I have VMware, so I, I have downloaded using VMware. Once it is downloaded, um, I think it will be downloaded in uh, in the form of 7z, uh, which is uh, nothing but a zipped file. So install 7z and unzip it. Um, uh, and then once you unzip it, it will look like this. research big data virtual machines and uh, yeah so this is the zip file which will be uh, downloaded it's not 7 it's a regular zip file you just have to unzip and then you will see a directory like this and you will have a file using dot vmx if you are using vmware you will see something like this if you are using virtual box it might be different uh, extension you can just double click it you for this to work you need to have vmware installed on your machine if you have downloaded virtual box you have to have virtual box on your machine so if you want to know further details about it uh, on my channel i have uh, videos already which cover this in detail so if you go to playlists there are a few getting started uh, videos. If you go to the bottom, there is a playlist uh, to uh, to set up. A, a One minute. Yeah, there is a playlist to uh, to get started um, for setting up the environment uh, and also to write a simple MapReduce program. You just need to worry about how to set up. Uh, the Hadoop it will highlight uh, that you need to install uh, uh, 
either a VMware or VirtualBox and then to download. Um, but if you are already familiar with VirtualBox or VMware, no need to go to that playlist. You just download it um, and then open it. Once it is started, it will look like this. And also before starting, what you have to do is you have to go to settings, and go to processors and memory, and uh, you have to give 10 GB of RAM to the VM. Right now it has only 6 GB, so it might not. Uh, some of the components might might not work. If it, if you, for example, if you click on Cloudera Manager here. Once it is started uh, and once you go to the Firefox on your uh, VM, right now this is on VM, you can read it here that this requires at least 8 GB of RAM and at least uh, uh, two virtual CPUs. Uh, but if you want to use Cloudera Manager uh, completely, then it needs to have at least 10 GB of RAM. So depending upon whether you want uh, uh, Cloudera Express, which is free, or the Cloudera Manager, you need to either choose 8 GB RAM or 10 GB RAM. If you have to choose 8 GB or 10 GB RAM, you need to have at least 16 GB of RAM on your laptop. Otherwise, your laptop will keep on crashing. That being said, I will be shutting down this VM to change the memory settings. So before changing, uh, before starting the VM, uh, better to take to take these steps to increase the memory and the CPUs, and then start it so that everything will work. Um, out of the box so now you can do virtual machine go to settings and here click on process uh, uh, and memory and uh, okay well, it, it actually have 10 GB RAM this 6 GB is remaining for, for my Mac and I'm using two processor cores instead I will use four processor cores for this and uh, close it now it has four cores and 10 GB RAM and now I am starting. It will just take a moment to start. So now it is started. And I am closing these windows. And I am launching Cloudera Enterprise. I have already used that. That's why. Let me open the browser. Okay, and uh, let me go to Cloudera Manager. It is not, sometimes it will hang even if you give them enough memory and all. Uh, to fix it, go to Terminal, View. So this is the command which it uh, asked for to run. And here I want to start Enterprise. So I have to give Enterprise and hit enter so it will actually start all the services um, it, it will take a while two three minutes to start all the services and then you will be able to access the uh, cloudera manager which is very important while it is starting i will show the rest of the stuff so going back to the syllabus we need to have a mysql database we need to have hdfs we need to have scoop we need to have hive everything uh, spark um, and also you should be able to run Scala, etc. So uh, instead of just providing you uh, Cloudera uh, Hadoop, uh, the Quick Start VM also provides a MySQL database. The way you can connect to MySQL database is by using MySQL minus U, root is the username and minus P, and the password is Cloudera. So this is the My MySQL command to log in on the server uh, MySQL minus U for user, root minus P for password, and it will prompt for the password. And the default password for everything in Cloudera is Cloudera. So type Cloudera and hit enter. You will be in the MySQL uh, uh, command line interface. Now you can uh, uh, look for show databases. And there is a database called retail underscore DB. So to, so to perform the tasks such as importing data from a MySQL database into HDFS, you can use this retail underscore db um, uh, as your source database. Only thing is, only difference between the cluster they will be providing in the certification and the VM could be that your MySQL database and the uh, cluster is running only on one VM, 
whereas uh, in the in the exam they might be on different uh, servers as long as you are familiar with ip addresses and port numbers which i will emphasize while explaining uh, uh, each and every item you are good to go okay now you log into the database and um, uh, you logged into the mysql and you uh, you listed the databases to use the database you can type retail underscore db and then show tables so there are six tables which cloudera already provides you with the data uh, so that you don't need to struggle uh, around creating the source database to demonstrate or to practice scoop commands you can uh, validate by running select star from departments in this case and hit enter and the, there are six records in this i will go through the data set later so this is the mysql instance and uh, to connect to mysql using uh, uh, tools like scoop you should not be using root instead you should be using a user called retail underscore dba which is again out of the box from cloudera and hit enter again the password is cloudera only so instead of root in this case i am trying to log in as retail underscore dba and hit enter cloudera is the password and hit enter and you can say show databases it will only list the information schema which is a system schema and the retail underscore db for which retail underscore db have access to now again you can do use retail underscore db and show tables so now we are uh, familiar that the mysql database which is required for us to run our scoop commands is there in the vm itself and then the next thing is scoop so you can just type scoop and hit enter scoop is there so it is prompting you to run scoop help to get more help which we will be exploring uh, very much in detail next thing is hive and hit enter it will prompt you to the command line interface of uh, hive meanwhile we have started the cloudera manager earlier it has started and again the username is cloudera and password is cloudera to log into the cloudera manager type cloudera cloudera for both and hit login and it will take you to uh, all the services uh, you have as part of the vm there could be more or le- um, um, a few more services or lesser services depending upon the version but for us we need spark we need uh, hdfs we need yarn because we will be running map reduce programs so we need hive we need impala uh, so these are the things which will be tested as part of the course so all those things are already there so you just um, by default they will be started in this case i stopped manually before shutting down the cluster that's why they are not started um, by default uh, now i am starting them manually you can click on start and all the services will be started and also these question marks are due to the cloudera management service is in inconsistent state if you see the question marks here i will highly recommend you to click on this and restart this cloudera management service also uh, once everything is started you will see the green or red green means healthy red means something is bad uh, on each of the services so you can go through um, get into this cloudera manager web interface um, uh, if you have 10 gb ram and two cores uh, to your vm you can y- use this one to navigate through but even if it do not come up you can still use a uh, scoop hive mysql spark everything as i am demonstrating on the terminal this is this is not mandatory but it will help you saving lot of time to to restart any service if there is any issue because it will be running out of the memory issues very frequently and all those things but even if it is not uh, up and running uh, you can still use um, as long as the services are up and running and you can validate from the um, from the terminal also which i will be demonstrating throughout the course so now we are in hive you can uh, um, it will work you can create the tables you can create the databases and we will see those details as we proceed in the course and also the next uh, so we have validated mysql database we have validated uh, scoop we have validated hive we will validate hdfs hdfs is the hadoop distributed file system um uh, to to copy a file into hdfs you need to run a command called hadoop fs minus put you can give any file so let me create a file first so touch testing 
okay and uh, now you can see the testing here so i will be doing hadoop ss minus put testing under user cloud error this is the path in hdfs uh, in which the file will be created again i will not get into too many details here but you can use this simple command and this testing is this one and we are uh, in the local linux file system and this is the target hdfs um, on this vm and hit enter it will be copied to hdfs uh, so we are validating that hdfs is also running properly on our, on our vm now you can see that all the services are, are in green which is good anyway and then uh, we will uh, we have validated so we can actually do hadoop ss minus ls user cloud error testing and hit enter and you can see that file is copied so our hdfs is running our scoop is there our hive is there our, our mysql database is there now the last one which is very important um, uh, to uh, is the spark so if you want to run some spark commands there are three ways to run the spark commands you can use spark minus shell and hit enter and it will launch the spark shell for you where you can run a scala programs or even uh, uh, anything that is that can be understandable uh, uh, in the spark context so there are different types of spark context there is python context there is spark sql context there is a, a, a default spark context which is which is scala so you can uh, change the context and you can start running uh, uh, your programs uh, on this vm using spark minus shell okay so now we are in the spark shell it will just take a moment to get started So now, now we are in the Spark uh, shell, and you can see that it is it has gone into Scala context. So you can run the Scala commands here, and also as part of the course, you should be able to uh, write some Python scripts also in Spark. For that, there is something called PySpark, and type PySpark and hit enter, and it will take you to Python uh, context uh, for Spark. So now we are in the Python uh, context uh, of Spark. So we can run our Python scripts uh, using this interface. That being said, the last one is Spark SQL. So there is a context wherein you can run high queries directly in Spark. Okay, there is no Spark SQL here, but we can use the uh, Spark shell itself to run our uh, uh, SQL commands. We just need to change the context, which I will be demonstrating as part of the main course. There is a way where we can run Spark SQL commands also, but uh, I will not be covering uh, uh, as part of this video. That being said, this is the brief review about uh, uh, the Cloudera Quick Start VM in the context of preparing for the certification and going forward we will pick one item at a time and we will see uh, how we can actually import data from a mysql database uh, using uh, scoop uh, and uh, then export and then the remaining stuff that being said i hope you will be enjoying the content on my channel and particularly this topic if you are interested in uh, uh, getting certified using cloud Era next year or any anytime soon uh, if you like, please click on the like button. If you have any technical questions or, uh, or feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss on these things, you uh, be, uh, become a member in my LinkedIn group, which is Hadoop Certifications. So you can go here and you can search for Hadoop. certifications become the member of this group and you can start the conversation and uh, i will try to uh, respond to your questions as quickly as possible and uh, uh, that being said if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time
थैंक यू बाय